How's it going everybody? What's good? What's going on? The Biggest Nerd One coming to you live and living color. As you can see from the title above, another good old fashioned beer review. I haven't done one in a while. I haven't done one in a bit. Uh, but I've done like three or four on this channel already trying to do something new. Go back and watch them. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get into more stuff than, uh, than other than pro wrestling here on YouTube. So, beer reviews is the name of the game. Or part of the game for me because it's wrestling and beer. But hey, it's good. Um, what am I coming to you with today? It is a special beer from, uh, from Mother's Brewery here in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, every once in a while, about once or maybe even sometimes twice a month, they, they come out with a special release uh, that they put in bottles and also they put on draft and uh, once the first Friday of every month as well they do just a keg of a special beer it's called First Friggin Friday but once or twice a month they do the same thing on uh, special events and they put that into bottles and you and you can buy those bottles at the Mother's Brewery uh, they're in the tasting room so that's what makes these bottles so special. I got this beer, and last month I also got this rated R. This is one of those little special beers that they did rated R, and that they they did this they done this one last year as well. But yeah, every once or twice a month they they uh, they bottle a special beer and they put it on sale, and everyone goes crazy for them. Luckily, last Tuesday. Uh, or last Tuesday for me when I'm uh, taping this video, they came out with another special beer. Uh, it seems like they do a lot of these special beers with their all year round beer called Three Blind Mice. Uh, it's one of their it's one of their brown ales that they do, and uh, and they do a lot with it. There was there was one month that they brewed it with like Askinosi chocolate and vanilla bean. There was one month they did it with. Uh, I believe the uh, chili peppers and something else. So they do they do a lot with the with the three by mice. Their uh, their more regular one is of course the regular three by mice and the imperial three by mice stout. But uh, this one that they that, that they bottled this month is imperial three by mice Bermuda style. It's a 10.5 percent beer, 38 IBUs I believe. Yeah, 38 IBUs. So. Uh, it's their th Imperial Three Blind Mice brewed with um, fresh lime, ginger, and aged in rum barrels. Uh, I've never had beer with lime and ginger in it, so I'm not too sure how to feel about it. But uh, it's aged in rum barrels, so it's good to go. Gotta get that rum in, you know what I'm saying? But, um,. And the, 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 the funny thing about Mothers is that they, they, they always put kind of like dorky little labels on them. Uh, like, 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 like this one says, are you, are, are you hungry? This goes great with coconut, shrimp, jerk chicken, mango sorbet, uh, curry, chocolate dipped macaroons. Uh, and then it says Mothers Brown. Ale riffs on the real Bermuda Triangle, rum, ginger, spice, and fresh lime. Inspired by the, the, the classic Caribbean cocktail, we've aged our three blind mice in rum barrels. Hint of ginger lime provide contrast to rich chocolate and caramel malt notes. Regardless of the storm clouds, it's always smooth sailing in Bermuda. So, yep, three blind mice, Bermuda, uh, Bermuda style. Let's let's let's. let's Let's, let's crack this baby open and see what it tastes like and smells, you know. Smells always good in beer. Uh, the glass that we're using today, a mother's glass, of course. Glass, baby. We got, I got, I got, I got a couple, a couple plastic ones up there. But, okay, the smell out of the bottle. Whew. He definitely smells smell the lime. Ooh. Oh man, let's see, let's see the, let's see the pour, see what the beer looks like. It's usually their Pearl Three by Mice is kind of like a little brown copper look to it. 
Yep, that's what it looks like there. Woo! Not that much head on it. Which is, which is good, or I'm just an excellent beer pourer. Either one. Some people, I guess, are like, oh, all oh, cup and gives it a big head, but look at that head. Not that much head. Nicole, do you want to come over and, and see what it looks like? Kiddos, man. Gotta love them. Woo. To me, look at it. It's kind of a darker beer. But they're, they're Imperial 3 by Mice. They're regular Imperial 3 by Mice. It kind of... It's technically an L, but in my opinion, it, it, it kind of borders stouts. Uh, uh, like, like a stout beer. And honestly, it's, this kind of smells like a stout beer kind of... You know, gives it, it's like that, it's that distinctive stout smell. I'm not too sure of, of notes on this. Woo! For some reason, on the notes, I'm, I, I am getting kind of a chocolate smell to it for some reason. Let's see what it tastes like here. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of nervous about this. It kind of, it kind of smells like a stout. I'm getting a chocolate taste to it. I don't know why. The aftertaste, I am getting a little bit of, the, of that lime and, and that ginger. It's kind of it's kind of a decent beer. I'm not I'm not really really, really tasting the rum at all. The rum barrel aged. I'm not I'm not I'm not getting that taste at all. But uh, supposedly it's aged in rum barrels. But it definitely is a it definitely is a recommend. You wanna do you wanna taste it? Taste it? Oh, that was a rum. Woo! That little that, that little tiny sip was a rum taste. I'm not sure about the smell. It smells kind of funky. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he just told you, but this is gross. <laughs> oh. oh man. But I do recommend it. Especially if you are like a more of a stout fan, because even though it's an, it's a brown ale, uh, it, it it tastes and smells like a stout. Ooh. I, get some I recommend. So if you ever come across Bermuda style three blind mice, I do recommend it, guys. Go out and get it. Mother's Brewery, shout out. You always make good beers. So talk to you guys later.